Hello, my friends. I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And today I have a very special guest, Natalia Vital, who is going to tell us information about something that is incredibly relevant. Just let me give you a little a little context. In the years that I've been in, 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 in this business, I think Uh, saying that obtaining, getting a, a loan, a credit for, for foreigners is nothing short from the holy grail. That would be the most incredible thing that we could offer to, to foreigners, being able to get a loan with a reasonable uh, uh, interest rate and a reasonable, reasonable term that is actually usable, that they can use to buy their properties in the Riviera Maya and in all of Mexico for that matter. Now, throughout the years, a couple of, uh, of, of financial products have been there, but honestly, And if you are one of those foreigners who have tried with one of those uh, systems, you are more than welcome to leave your angry comments down below. And I know they're going to be angry comments because those products, honestly, they were a mess. But in Natalia, my guest today, she is the uh, specialist at Intercam Bank of Dream, Lo Dream Loan. Dream Loan. And I'm going to say this is the first banking product that efficiently and cost effectively offers loans for foreigners. And so Natalia, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you so much for inviting me once again. And it's a huge opportunity for me and for Intercamp Bank as a representative of this bank to be able to extend all of the information about this product and all of the details. So I'm very glad to be here. And you are very welcome for sure. And so I'm taking this opportunity, my friends, to remind you to like, to subscribe. We're going to be covering a lot of, of ground today, but stay tuned because really, if you're looking into buying a property in the Mexican Caribbean and you are looking to get access to a financial product and a loan, this information is going to be super, super helpful. But there, I want to start by saying dream loan. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a rather new product, right, Natalia? It's not, it's been there for, I'm gonna say, maybe, I wanna say a year and a half or so. Yes, you're right. Um, it has been out in the market already for two years now. And I mean, it has started just because obviously the, um, the our vice presidents of the, of the bank, they were just trying to find a way to obviously fulfill all of the necessities that foreigners out there had. And one of them was they want to invest, they want to invest uh, in real estate here in Mexico while minus not as well have a financing program. So that's how it all started. And now it has been a complete success. This product is called the Dream Loan. And as you said, as you mentioned, it is a home loan for U.S. and Canadian citizens. They're looking to purchase a fully constructed property in Mexico. Right now we have around a few certified areas that we provide this loan. The first one where we provide our first loan, as a fun fact, it was in San Miguel. Uh, then we have authorized areas in Mexico City, Puerto Vallarta, Nayarit, Playa del Carmen, um, Los Cabos, Mazatlán, and Merida, so a few regions there that are already authorized where we are able to promote this, this loan. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I know. And so let, let me just say something a little bit of how I came to, to know about Dream Loan. I mean, as I was saying, getting loans for foreigners is the holy grail of my profession as real estate agent in the Riviera Maya. So I keep an eye on the different things that come into the market. And usually those financial products fail in a number of, of, of categories. I'm going to say uh, the first category would be the interest rate. They would be offering interest rates of whatever, 17, 20, or sometimes they don't even know because it's variable and it can be like whatever. Uh, the second thing would be the term because sometimes it's like, yeah, we can give you a loan, but you need to pay it in three years. Like, wow, okay, then it's not that much of a loan. I mean, I can I can direct finance in three years just by another appraisal and I don't have to, to pay any interest. So it was just not attractive. Uh, 
another another problem that I found is was just that the process was extremely on clear you need to send documentation and then some document come back and you sign but then you need to provide a, a down payment but the down payment stays at the at the at the company so not really to the developer so the developer doesn't know that you already provide a down payment so you, it, it was the process was messy and this is a true story i mean i spoke to people that had been like they started the process for the loan and eight months later they still didn't have any clarity as for if the loan was going to be granted or not. And all of this hand in with the fact that those financial institutions, I want to say they were pretty obscure, pretty unknown. So when I first got the hint that Intercam was offering a loan for foreigners, I was like, okay, this is interesting. Let, let me look a little closer because Intercam is a big bank. It's a, one of the major banks in Mexico, focused on foreigners, big important bank. So then I, I looked closer and they were, I mean, the, the basics, we were going to be talking about that in a second, but let's say that the basics is you can get starting at 7% uh, interest rate for up to 25 years, if the memory serves me well, right? And those are very attractive conditions. If you're in the States, if you're in Canada, Okay, the interest rate could be better if you wish, but for the Mexican market, these are excellent conditions from the hand of a very reputable bank. For me, it was already marking three of, of my important things that I wanted to to uh, and to see, you know. And so, um, okay, I, I think it would be important to say I, I say that seven percent up to 25 years. Why don't, Natalia, let us know a little bit of what are the conditions of, of, of this uh, of this loan. Yeah, well, thank you so much um, for what you just mentioned. And yes, I think that from what you just said, I have to emphasize on three very important points. One, the transparency and the protection and the regulatory system that we have as a bank, as a well-regulated bank, as you mentioned, it is already a well-recognized bank, Intercam Bank, that has been on the financial sector for 30 years already. We have over 70 branches. So having to be having to set this, um, it gives a lot of certainty for all of our clients that trust us and trust our work and trust their financials with us, of course. So that is very important um, that we are the first bank that provides this, this loan. That's the second point. And the third, as you mentioned, the terms and conditions have been are very uh, attractive to our our foreign community, it's specifically U.S. and Canadians. It this loan is um, it's a loan that is provided in U.S. dollars. That's the first term, and second, again for U.S. and Canadian citizens, or even if they have double nationality. Let's say that they are Canadians. Uh, sorry, they're Italians, but they're filing their taxes in in Canada. Those are a profile to to apply for this loan. If they are Mexicans, but they file their taxes in Canada and have their residency, those are also um, candidates for uh, to apply for this loan. And so, yeah, just for people to have and that they're listen deep, listening to their podcast, that they know that there is a chance out there for them to apply for a loan in Mexico to purchase a property here in this country. Um, and again, very much importantly, the minimum property value. So if you are looking to apply for this loan and you're looking at properties between 250 USD all the way up or even 300,000 all the way to 10 million if you want, this loan is an opportunity for you and this is an option for you. Um, the loan to value, we loaned you up to 65% of the appraisal value. Uh, it is very important. There is a stage in the process where we do a property evaluation and we require to do a an appraisal, which is a commercial appraisal. That is going to help us to based on the loan value. 
the long term, as you well mentioned, it is from five to 25 years, depending on the loan amount. And as you may, as you mentioned, the interest rate, it is a completely fixed interest rate. Right now, since the market and the financial conditions change, it has gone up to from nine to 9.8 fixed interest rate. Um, and still very attractive to people and even attractive for nationals. Of course, this is for U.S. and Canadians, but um, it is a still very attractive interest rate. And the minimum FICO score is 700. So people that are living in Canada and the U.S., they must have minimum a 700 points in their FICO score, which is yeah, their credit score. And I mean benefits. Benefits are fundamental for this product for people to know. There are no prepayment penalties. Interest rate interest rates um, are calculated on the unpaid balance, and the whole process is, as we've been mentioning, conducted through a one-stop banking experience. We provide you all of the services that you need in order to make this purchase happen. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, just just to recap a little bit, the conditions or the initial conditions, because if I understand correctly, the minimum value, the minimum commercial value of the property to apply for this loan, it is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So that's that's yes. that's right, right? Okay. Exactly. So that's right. a point that you need to that you need to have have in mind because at the end, the loan, the bank is going to give you up to sixty five percent of the credit. So keep in mind that the thirty five percent of uh, that at least $250,000, you do need to have it. Now, if that's your case, well, so, so, so great. Uh, oh yeah, another point that the property needs to be already built. This, this is not going to work for pre-sales. We need to have a property already built. And actually, uh, we on our website, we have many properties that are 250 and, and more, uh, some of them even oceanfront, uh, that are fantastic and that uh, you could apply because again, the the, the, the baseline is $250,000. But on the other side, the sky is the limit. It's going to depend more in your credit history and a number of, of other factors. Uh, you need a credit score of 700 at least, so you're cleared and, and go to the to the next stage. And then something that that you, you you said it just like once, but it's very important because at least here in Canada, for instance, there is a penalty for uh, for, for for early payment, and also the mortgages they need to be renegotiated every now and then. So here. And I want to really stress this out because this this is important. Is you have a fixed rate, a fixed interest rate, throughout the time, throughout the term of this loan. And if you have a lucky break, or you receive an inheritance, or whatever, and you want to just pay all of that in full, you can just go do it and there will be no penalty. So that is very, very important. And that is very important. I want to say that specifically if you are a real estate investor with a strategy, because if you are a real estate investor with a strategy, most likely you're not looking into having a loan for the next 25 years. You may be, where, may be thinking in paying it in the next five to seven years. And so with this loan, you can actually do it. And it's fantastic. And so let's say that uh, I spoke with Humberto Fernandez. That means me. And I found an amazing property that is $300,000. And I want to finance it with Dream Loan Nut. So what would be the, the next steps? Guide me through the through these steps from the moment in which uh, uh, you get as a client referred uh, by me, for instance, to the moment in which he's uh, titling his property. Yeah, well, yes, you're you're completely right. Uh, the dream loan is completely an option for all of the people that want to come and invest. And right now, all of our process is being conducted through our electronic platform. So people can just go in our website, begin running a quick profiler that we have in our website. That's, that can be the first step. 
and it's very easy process to do. They go on our website, they click on profiler. We've already built a, a tool that will let them know, the clients know, if there are candidates for the loan. They fill in with their financial and personal information. That would be their first step. They submit their basic information, as I mentioned, and it will automatically be sent to an executive mortgage banker that will be assisting you in less than 24 hours, uh, maximum 48 hours. And from there, the communication begins. Um, they will receive also an e two different emails. One of them will let them know, uh, will assign them a user and a password, and they will be sent out to a special platform where if they're candidates, they will start submitting all their documentation. And that's when the pre-qualification underwriting process begins. And obviously in between this stage, uh, the executive had, have been already in contact with the client. They have been had all this uh, introduction about terms and conditions, and they have already been assisted through this process. But then once they start submitting all their documentation, in five to seven business days, they will eventually have a response with their pre-qualification letter. And as soon as they have their pre-qualification letter, um, well, if they agree and they approve this pre-qualification letter, which is a pre-approval letter, we will be able to move forward with the property evaluation. And in this property evaluation uh, process stage, I would call it, we um, file a, an appraisal and a title report. This stage is fundamental. Why? Because this is stage, it will be the evaluation of the guarantee, which is the property itself. And it will give the certainty, the legal certainty to the person who is purchasing the property through the loan in order to know what is the legal status of the property and how much is value for commercially. So if everything goes well within this stage, we will be ready to move forward with to emit, them, to emit them their final approval, and then by those means begin the closing. The closing is already the process um, where pretty much the party happens. It's, we're almost there, the client is almost there, and it's, um, it's where we set up the bank trust, is where we open up this the escrow, is where we set up their life insurances, their life insurance and property insurance policies, as well as the scheduling of their closing date. Very much importantly, throughout this whole process, I know obviously I've summarized it into a few stages, the client doesn't need to be here. Everything again is conducted through um, electronic platform and remote communication with their executive. And of course, as I mentioned, all of this is conducted through a one-stop banking experience, which means all of the services are provided to the client. And um, there is a real estate attorney that Intracam uh, provides the client in the closing process, which is super important. You were asking, oh, Natalia, is, does, it, does it need to have a real estate attorney to purchase a property or for the closing? It is um, optional for some transactions, but for the dream loan, it is uh, very important to have this real estate attorney and coordinator to coordinate all of the communications within the parties, the agents, the sellers, the buyers, the notaries, and obviously the internal areas that are uh, in, in at Intercam in-house. So that's the whole process just in small or few few words, but of course I'm more than happy to answer um, all of the questions that are needed from potential buyers out there if there's some particular or very particular profile profiles for each and every one of them. Excellent. So, so what you just mentioned is actually very interesting. I have a bunch of clients that, that ask me, hey, Beto, do I need to hire a lawyer? 
to review the documents and, and whatnot. And obviously hiring, hiring a lawyer, it, it comes with a, with a cost. Now, in this case, my friends, imagine not hiring one lawyer, but an army of lawyers. Because when you go through a process with a banking institution, and trust me on this one, the bank is not going to sign anything unless everything is in mint condition. So after the first stages, when they start uh, checking the, the, the property, the property that in this case is going to act as a guarantee, they are going to check everything. So trust me, by the time the, the, the loan is granted, the lawyers at the bank, they have had checked everything. And very importantly, they need to do an appraisal. So imagine that you could have a bank to lend you their lawyers and their appraisers. And you would get that just as a part of the service of going through Dream Loan and technically uh, just as a part of the process. But let me ask you something, uh, Nat. Is there any cost associated with uh, with uh, the opening the Dream Loan? Do I, do I have to pay anything or how does it work? Yeah, um, there are some closing costs implied. And of course, for every case, obviously every property... Um, Yeah, every property, every candidate, uh, depending on the property that they choose according to the sales price, there is an amortization schedule that we are able to run with the client if it's necessary for them to have all the disclosure of closing cost payments that are going to be involved along the process. But it is important that they know that if, for example, in order to do a pre, in order to be pre-approved, there is no charge for that, and that's sometimes what the client is expecting to know if they're able to at least be pre-approved according to their financials, in order for them to begin the the rest of the process. And in the rest of the process, of course, there's a few costs implied regarding the appraisal, title report, and the whole closing cost implied for the notary, property taxes, trust, escrows, and a few other items that are disclosed in this amortization schedule that I'm mentioning to you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because in, in this case, uh, the minimum value of the property, as we were saying, is 250. And so that means that I need to have a 35% of that as down payment available. So let's say, I want to invest, but I definitely don't want to waste my time. I understand how this loan works because I've read it online, whatever. I do have, let's say, $80,000, which would work as a down payment for a property between the $250,000 and something else that I've been looking around. So what I want to say is I can just go with you and, and go through the initial parts of the process just to find out if I would be able to get this loan before I even start looking into property. So I know what is going to be my buying power and I know if I would get it. I mean, what I know, I have 80,000, I have 80 grand and I have a 700 score on my credit score. I can go with you and make this this kind of a drill and so I could get my pre-approval uh, letter saying hey Mr. Fernandez yeah you can make it okay so that gives me a lot of, of that empowers me to actually then go start looking for property around important it I mean arriving to this the, this step it is not going to, to to cost me anything and that's important then I can start looking at property and at some point I can just I can, I can just use the The, the, the credit and speaking of which I think it, it's important to talk about the, 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 the time frame so from the moment in which I, I, I say you know what um, I, I'm gonna contact Natalia because I would like to see if I can get a, a loan and I send you an email I give you a phone call to the moment in which I am capable of, of actually applying that credit how long does it does it take to submit the documents and go through the process Yes, so there's a few, obviously it's divided into stages, um, but ideally is from the, in order to get the pre-approval is from five to seven business days. Once we've submitted the documents in order to process all the information, so five to seven business days, then 
Once we have that pre-approval, the property validation will take from 10 to 15 business days. Then they, we will hand them in the final approval. And from there, we begin the closing. The pl closing process much take from eight weeks, even if you want nine weeks, but it will depend a lot on the status of the property. And this is very important because sometimes the properties are already into existing trusts. So let's say that they own, they're they owned by foreigners. In, ca in this case, we know that in the closing, we would have to terminate this trust and create a new one where Intercam Bank will act as a trustee. So in that case, we're obviously depending on the times of the other bank and of course the eight weeks that Intercam Bank will take in order to make uh, in order to make the closing date happen. So again, this whole process can be can take around two months and a half, even even to three months. Will depend muchly in the status of the property. Okay, so I mean, in real estate, three months is a pretty reasonable uh, time frame. Uh, I would say for closing. In okay, here's another thing: closing costs. I mean, closing is more up to the notary. That's independent from the bank. Can I include the closing costs uh, on, on my loan, or or I would need to 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 come up with that closing cost on top of of whatever? Yes, the closing costs are paid separately um, than the loan itself and the monthly payments. We don't finance closing costs for the moment. We don't know what could happen next year or later on in a couple of months. This is a market that is in constant change. But for now, we the closing cost needs to be paid separately. Why? Because there's so many thing, items that need to be covered in one payment, like the um, permit of secretary of foreign affairs for your trust, appraisal, title report, even the notary fees implied, property taxes. So those payments need to be paid um, separately than the loan. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, my friends, just for, for put you a little bit into context, uh, something that, that we've discussed before, for your bank trust, you're going to be looking at somewhere around $2,000 for the first year, then $500 each year, and that's going to be on top. You need to, to have that, that money aside, and you need to consider the closing costs, which uh, for at least in the Riviera Maya, you're going to be looking at around 7% of the value of the property, and those cannot be included in your loan so you need to have that money as well and so well natalia uh, i don't know if you want to to add anything else for me i'm uh, i basically i have those those are all the questions that i have so if you want to add anything else this is the moment yeah i think that the dream loan was created uh for people that obviously are wanting to buy and to make this dream happen to purchase a property in Mexico. This is a huge opportunity of investment. And obviously this can be your your first loan and it can be the proof that dreams can happen as well as it's a very easy, very friendly financing program that not only is it provided by a bank, but it's also provided uh, through executives that speak perfect English that are very familiar with this type of mortgages uh, and the process. And what I would obviously would like to add are the requirements, very simple requirements. We, we request passport, we request marriage certificate in case if it's applicable and you would like to apply with a co-borrower um, ID of the partner or whoever you are applying as a co-borrower in this case needs to be someone that you're legally um, vinculated with and also tax returns from the last three years are our main source of, source of income and your credit score credit report as we mentioned earlier 700 points of credit score and you are ready to go as well as any other financial statements that you are more than happy to um, send and we would be happy to um, analyze them 
and yes i think that would be about it and we are we would be more more than glad to be assisting you guys i invite everybody be everybody that is uh, listening to this podcast and video that they go on our website www.intercamdreamlong.com to uh, feel free to click on profiler and start seeing if they are even able to become a candidate we would be more than happy to assist them from them from there perfect and for me i'm just going to add after many years in this business looking with mistrust to different so called uh, loans for foreigners this is the very first time that i feel confident recommending a banking product that i know that is going to live up to the expectations of the the the, the foreigner buyer years that are looking into getting a loan to finally get their property in, in Mexico or the Mexican Caribbean, which is where I work. And in case you want to contact me directly, of course, uh, we, can, we can we can discuss the opportunity of getting the, 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 the loan and we can talk to Natalia or any other representative at Intercam and we can take it from there. And so, well, my friends, uh, just to remind you, you have any questions about uh, Dream Loan? or you want to know anything else about the whole financing system here in, in Intercam, uh, well, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. And um, before leaving, I just want to to uh, talk a little bit about something very interesting that Intercam is doing, which is the one uh, one stop banking, right? Because it's not just a dream loan, it's a whole spectrum of products. One stop banking experiences, you go there because you want your loan and at the end, you're gonna be covered from every angle, no? I mean, it's, it's really, you will get a whole array of products that will allow you to integrate easily into the Mexican community, get your, your financial needs covered so I don't know you want to talk a little bit about this uh, Natalia yes of course I mean I invite all the foreigners out there uh, that are in all over the world not only in US or in Canada but mostly obviously the dream loan is focused on those two nationalities but the bank itself I mean they are providing services, new shoring services to all types of companies, foreign companies. Um, we are providing insurance, we are providing all types of trust, real estate development trust, even um, investment trust, uh, restricted zone which trust, which are the most, um, the ones that are most obviously demand and, uh, and request by the people that come and want to buy a purchase, to purchase a property here. but. I really, really invite you guys to come, get to enjoy and feel comfortable with the experience that will take you to a lifetime financial experience. And of course, having to get all of your financials um, administered in a very e easy and accessible way through our executives that again they speak perfect English among other languages and we get to even have um, deal with different types of multi-currencies we get to deal with dollars um, US dollars Canadian um, Mexican pesos among others so we really really invite you guys to come and join and experience this one-stop banking experience um, here in Mexico. We even have a branch in Miami and in Puerto Rico, so we are more than happy um, to invite you guys over and we're going to be expanding more and more. And we, yes, thank you so much. Well, Natalia, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all of the information that you provided today. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And thank you all my friends for your time and to the next one.